you know your stories? It's quite a story. So you know you the best. And I want you just to catch everybody up on how long you were sick and how bad it was. Okay. And how today is. Okay. Um, so it's been four years of this. Actually, 10 days short of four years. We were counting this morning. Um, I didn't make it to that four years. Um, Yay. Yeah, um, but every six months something new popped up and just couldn't keep that pain under control to a point that just the nervous system couldn't handle it and things got really, really bad. Um, about almost a year ago is when things got like bad, bad, like couldn't stand up without passing out, like couldn't eat, could barely walk, all fun things. Found something that worked, and it's like honestly insane to me um, because I came here hoping to get off the central line and stay that way permanently, and in the process, got something a little bit better than that. Um, so yeah, like I was, I was hoping let's leave it a six. If I am at a six, I can live, and I'm actually sitting here in no pain, zero pain. Zero pain. Zero pain. until last week and I'm like I freaked out because it's like I never I gave up on that a solid two years ago because I had tried programs that people had been in remission for but never me um like I just was always the person that couldn't work for and I'm like oh, okay well we'll try I'll say that I did everything and well I have done everything but it's worked and I'm just so beyond, I, I'm in shock right now and I don't know when it's gonna set in that it's, that this part's over. Like, that I don't have to deal with that. And leaving here today signifies that I am going to college in two days. I move in in two days and on time, which me starting a school year on time is a thing in and of itself because I've got a habit of being admitted in September really fun habit of mine that I'm breaking. Um, but I made these plans thinking I wasn't gonna get to go. I thought, I made these plans, they were my just in case plans. That's like, if I get to a place that I can go, that's great. I applied, couldn't stand up without passing out. Wrote those essays in a very, very bad spot. And I, I move into college in two days and it's going to be fine and I'm going to be able to do it and I am going to make it through the semester and that's not something I could have said three months ago um, because um, I it was bad it wasn't safe for me to go away on my own turned 18 three months ago and I called myself a major to this day because I couldn't adult couldn't do things on my own and it's over. Like, the worst of it's over, and I am just in complete and utter shock. And um, I did want to say a couple things to my family because the amount of, the amount they've sacrificed over me, or for me, over these four years, for the treatments that may or may not have worked for this one, um, to my dad who's been here even though he had to stay home all summer to provide for us. He's been here with me every step. Oh, your dad's just every bowling. I was <laughs> watching him cry on me. <laughs> and my brother, who my parents always were away with me. They were always had to take care of me. I he almost became my older brother because he was the one that would catch me in the hallways at school. He was the one that made sure I didn't take the stairs. And he. I, I can't imagine what he's been through and the fact that I am going to school on my own, both my parents are going home to him, that he gets to finish out high school as close to normal as anybody gets and it's just insane to me and mom, who's, I know I thought a thought had this entire summer, um, <laughs> You know, the, this summer it, we had some we had some, ups and we downs. had some bad times getting to this point, and she she stuck.
yourself with me. And it's on camera, so I get to have a hug. Oh, and you get your therapist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to look at these shoes. Can I tell you the story about these shoes? Please do, I'd love to hear it. Because I graduated high school three months ago, and I my high school experience was something, and I said, I was not wearing tennis shoes for my high school graduation. Oh boy, Jenna. So that required me to obtain another pair of shoes. And we went and tried them on. Every time I put them on, every time I took them off, I bawled my eyes out. I, it was so bad. I wore them. Top five of the stupidest things I've done. Um, but I did it, and it wasn't great. And three weeks ago, I didn't pack anything, because I'm like, well, we're just going to go try everything. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But I didn't bring anything to wear, and I don't cross up. I just don't. And so I, my dad and my brother shipped me these shoes and the skirt three weeks ago when I actually knew that this day would happen. And because I'm like, well, let's redeem these stupid shoes that went so poorly the first time. But I have them on and, well, I'm crying now, but not for the same reason. I just say that your parents are different. When you came in, um, and we talked about this earlier today in treatment, I needed to touch your feet because we needed to see what was going on there. And you were at the point, which you made clear, you are like, I don't care anymore. Like, I know this is horrible, but just do what you have to do. Because either you believed or you didn't believe, you just, you were in that weird kind of spot, right? And your mom, being your advocate at the time, and what you've been through, looked at you and clearly wanted a yes from you. And Jenna, she's gonna touch your feet. Like, did you really say yes? And you just, in your Jenna words, I can't even remember what you would have said, but basically said, yeah, I'll just get it over with yeah. And you did, you whipped off the shoes, socks, and we started, you said, you're gonna have to do it sometime, right? So let's do it today. One weeks. Yep, and you put your feet in water. That was amazing. You, like, you didn't hold anything back. Spicy water, <laughs> the spicy water too. And you calling uh, yourself a little Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is, I understand you told us you came in not knowing. You've done everything, you kind of lost your hope. But there must have been something in there. You believed in what Dr. K did. And you were able just to surrender and allow the process to happen. And it was amazing. Thank you. Right on time. Right. <laughs> My 12 weeks. I'm going to school on time. From day one, 12 yeah. weeks. You well, have 12 weeks. I, I, did, I told her day one. You have 12 weeks. Every week you would remind me. And, and you would try every week to what add one week more. What week was it when you were like, okay, I'm actually going to leave here? Was it last I, week or the week? I told weeks? you six weeks ago that I was leaving no matter what, and I was gritting my teeth. I'm like, eh, I'll go. Well, it'll be fine. Uh, no, it, I think it was that day that I hit the two that I was crying with dad on the phone like usual in between the buildings and I think that was the day that was like holy cow I'm actually going to do this um, because you know I had drops but it was not it wasn't substantial I guess until that point that was like the first day that it was like okay that's actually working cool um, you ready? Yeah. I just wanted to add what your family did is a sacrifice. 